general. All right, and it's still no troll. Yeah. Uh, torque applied. Pretty much, it's kind of the same way in Fallout 4. Just go which way. Going in here, you can find the secret stash of moonshine and other equipment. Good stuff. I'm not gonna drink any alcohol, but you can sell it. Along with some of this other stuff. Uh, if you have negative karma and you want to make it better, just go kill some fiends. You will find them around uh, Camp McCarran. And killing them will get your karma raised. Uh, I'm not going to sell anything up until I get barter up to 100 because the higher the barter, the better the deals are. The more you get from selling stuff and the cheaper stuff is to buy it. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Oh, wow. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. If you're gonna take steal something, make sure you're hidden. If they see you, if let's say come over here, shows you're detected. That means that they, they can see you and that you're taking stuff, and they will react negatively. Uh, I will come back later to take all the stuff that I can take. Just because I don't think y'all want to watch me just pick up all kinds of miscellaneous items. Kind of like what I did in my Fallout 4 playthrough. I'd go pretty much just pick up ammunition and guns, useful stuff off of enemies and in areas, and then just come back later and clean the place out. Right. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Cool. Look down the side. Cool. Start crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. I'll fight whoever I want. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. Change to my machete. Because as I said, we're doing this melee only, and this is going to be a Caesar's Legion walkthrough. Now, we can also do missions for the NCR, but we cannot do anything that will impact the Legion negatively. Like, there are missions you can do at Camp Forlorn Hope, but all those in... Their end game is attacking Nelson and retaking it, but we're not going to do that. But anything else we can do, I will do so. And at a certain point when really I cannot do anything more for the NCR without negatively impacting the Legion, that is when me and my companions are going to wipe out all of the NCR off the map. Except obviously some in Camp McCarran, one of who is necessary to take or for a mission what are you doing? for a mission for the legion because he is a spy who's gonna blow up the monorail there hear that up on the ridge behind me there we got some geckos to clear out bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like doc mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly we can get the jump on them more likely to hit something vital that way oh they gonna get it Who wants to see Jesus? Okay. And Reagan and Margaret. Got him. Where is... Alright, where's Sunny? 
so now. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't Ooh, take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. All right, somewhere around here, there's going to be a good spring settler getting attacked by geckos, and we're going to have to save them. Too late. Then again, you shouldn't go for water with a cleaver. Oh well. We'll be fine. Bring me some water. Keep up. Thirst level up. Or I'm going up. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, hell's oh. bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Why not? All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Oh. So, we'll go back to Good Springs. Oh. Being able to fast travel is so nice. As opposed to Fallout 4, where you have to walk everywhere. Of course, the only real thing close to fast travel in survival mode in Fallout 4 is working with the Brotherhood who allow you to move in vertebrates. Kind of like fast travel, but it's a lot slower but faster than walking. You just throw a grenade, vertebrate comes, picks you up, and then flies you to wherever you need to go. Oh shit. Here we go. Yep. For your homework today, class, you're gonna write three word, 500 page essay over how you would handle the wildlife in a post apocalyptic scenario. Here we go. Slow flies, really, they can't hurt you that much. They're more of a nuisance. But they are easy experience, and you have blowfly meat, which you can use to cook with and eat. Therefore, you could either ignore them or just take them out. Spooky. Actually, I might swing by the uh, 
general store just to get a shovel so that way you can dig up these graves. Snow globe. Getting these is very good because they give you a lot of caps. Oh, you'll have plenty of chances to get extra credit this semester. Don't worry. Because uh, Mr. House collects these. And even if you do not side with Mr. House, you still get money for them. This is the grave that I was supposed to be buried in. But we will... Clearly that did not happen. So what was that look for you? Flowers. Here we go. Good springs, fast travel there, because it's faster than walking. So we're going to go to the schoolhouse over there. Jumpy, jumpy. There are some giant mantises over here. Not too hard to deal with. But as with the blue flies, they are more of a nuisance than anything else. Mantis egg and four leg. Over here is Enderroot. Sunny at the campfire. So much easier being able to fast travel. She is. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Just All right fine. now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Right. We're gonna make some healing powder. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Nope. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. So She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Can I still make the blue voice? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to pick up this stuff real quick just because you see I have a strong back perk since I don't have uh, above 160 in weight. My uh, my stats are lowered, so I'm just going to pick up this stuff real quick. Pick up some more stuff over here. I'm gonna head over here real quick to talk to this shady guy over here. He tells you that his girlfriend or wife or whatever got stranded up on that hill over there. And he asks you to go rescue her, but in reality, all he wants you to do is just go pick up the stuff and then he's going to try to rob you. Hello? Can you help? My girl is trapped by geckos on the mm -hmm. ridge and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. See. What is that? Empty button. Okay. What is it here? What is the... Okay, let's see. Okay, so I don't have to pick up any useless stuff no more. Here. Uh, finish. Travel onward. I'm good. Plan the 
this out to work fairly well. Zul, you are going to die. You're going to want to come up this way anyway, just because there is some good stuff that you can find that you can either use and or sell. Hardcore mode in this game is not quite as bad as hardcore or survival mode in Fallout 4 in that food is very plentiful. You are not going to run out of food. You do not even really need to buy food. Uh, water, you really don't need to worry about just because there's a good spring source right there. I mean, any water that you might need. All you gotta do is just fast travel to the good spring source and you can get water that's not irradiated at all. Get back here. Loot these bodies real quick. A lot of times enemies, once they take a lot of damage, will try to run away, but then they will come back to try to attack. Come on. You know you wanna do around here. Come here. Kill you. Get. So. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up. See, I told you. Okay, okay so I'm gonna raise barter a little bit. Uh, Lark pick a little bit, medicine a little bit, melee weapons. Put a little extra into repair. I'm do speech some more. And then I'm going to do a little better in survival. And then continue. Uh, confirm bachelor. Not near. Don't worry about that. Maybe. Lady killer. Same thing as confirm bachelor. Retention. Uh, additional total experience points. Whatever experience points are. I don't need that. Our intense training. That. Done. All right, I did not raise strength to 10 just because there is a clinic in North in Vegas where you can raise all these by one so long as your endurance is high. So I'm going to raise my endurance a little more. Kill this fool. Hey! Got him. See, this is what killed the gecko over there. Gotta be careful of this one right here. Oop, I do not have enough repair to do that, but that is okay. Uh, I'm just gonna grab everything here, just because I don't feel like traveling all the way back here again. Right that. Uh, sleep, you don't really need to worry about sleep because you have beds at the a uh, place where uh, I, the little trailer where I stored my stuff. So I don't really gotta worry about that. <laughs> stuff. Right, let's keep going. Drop this stuff off. Actually, I can go talk over in here real quick. I'm 
done being nice. Oh, shit. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? What do you want? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Uh, let me get out of town before we talk. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Uh -huh. Robbed some people, burned some things, killed a few guys. Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. I've run with some tough gangs, but I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing, but I'll be staying out of their way. Oh, you're gonna be scared. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave, but it's a big desert, so it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Mm. Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Glad to be here. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. <laughs> Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Those bastards. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Oh, yeah. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. 
It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Stranger danger. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You just have that Fine by me. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. the radio do I have anything that can what's my stats on repair? okay so I can repair pretty much the next time I level up so there's no need to waste a uh, skill magazine if I have one so where will I go to check out the general store Say buy a shovel so I can dig up the stuff on the uh, Good Springs Howdy. graveyard. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. So as you can see with some stuff, like ashtray, if I get my barter up to 100, that ashtray, instead of being 0.6 caps, is 1 cap. So, and I have plenty of caps at the beginning, so there's, for, for the time being, there's nothing really major I need to buy, but I will be buying a shovel. Uh, Chet has some decent stuff at the beginning, like the laser pistol, like energy weapons and stuff, but nothing that you'd really, you know, not be able to finish the game if you didn't buy it. Uh, doctor's bag also, those are important because that's really the only way you can heal your limbs. Some other stuff here, and the Rufus was free. Anything else? Also has some mods and bulk ammunition. Bobby pins, don't need to buy those. <coughs> Let's see, anything else I might take for cheap or free? No. I can say laser pistol combat sights, but we're not going to be using weapons or anything. And they got some ammunition you could buy, but nothing really too good. None of the better ammunition, like 308s or anything like that. I don't even think they have uh, 40 uh, millimeter grenades. Uh, so buy that. Thanks. Some sort of ammo inferior. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. <laughs> Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. 
Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. See. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. My trouble came looking for you. The leader was a new Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns.